Hi, my name is Maxi Mitkin. I'm interventional radiologist at the University of Pennsylvania, and my expertise is in the lymphatic imaging and interventions. Lymphatic system um, is probably one of the most forgotten or unknown system in the body, and the main function of the lymphatic system is removal of the fluid from the soft tissue. Thoracic duct is the main pathway of the lymph uh, coming from the body into the venous circulation. It collects fluid from the legs, from the belly, uh, from the liver and intestine. One of the problems of the lymphatic systems are the lymphatic leaks. Uh, they can happen in the chest, heart, abdomen. Uh, they call calotorx, calosocytes, um, and calopericardium. A uh, patient with these problems often experience uh, shortness of breath, coughing out the casts, um, and swollen abdomen. Uh, traditionally, this condition been treated um, using either prolonged uh, fasting or uh, surgical approaches. Uh, however, here at the University of Pennsylvania, we developed the techniques of uh, minimally uh, invasive approaches using as tiny needles, uh, catheters, and wires where we can access these lymphatic leaks and close them with a medical glue. Uh, there are minimal preparation for the procedure. Usually we ask patients to stop eating midnight before the procedure and if somebody on anticoagulation we usually stop the anticoagulation medications. The procedure is performed under moderate sedation or general anesthesia. After we wake up the uh, you might experience some abdominal pain that could be easier to control with pain medications. Because we use minimally invasive uh, techniques, uh, the patient usually tolerates the procedure quite well and um, the recovery from the procedure is relatively easy. Patients stay in the hospital uh, between two or three days to one week depending of the, on the severity of the condition. Uh, usually, uh, you experience the relief from the symptoms within a few days to a week after the procedure, and we typically follow up a uh, month after the procedure with imaging and then yearly.